Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I've also filmed um, yesterday and um, I'm putting up the video today of my August um, slash summer favourites. But um, while I was doing it I thought to myself, I keep talking and blogging about the fact I'm going to uni and all I, I go to uni and um, all of my friends at work who are the year below are all going to uni this year. So I think it's quite a big topic for people re around this time of year, especially people my age or just younger or whatever. Because when you're at school, uni sort of gets drummed into your head. Um, you have to go, it's really important you go, you need to go and get a degree and then you'll get a really good job and, you know, everything's going to be peachy. And I feel like you don't really get enough preparation from them about what uni's actually like. And... For me personally, my first experience with uni wasn't great, and that wasn't that wasn't necessarily to do with uni itself. It's just I I think I kind of had bad luck, bad timing. So I thought I'd try and do a quick video, not a really long one, about university and things that I wasn't told that I wish I was, and a little bit of um, a background information about my time at uni the first time round, and how I've kind of gone a full circle back again. So after I finished my A-levels, um, or well during, I had to pick my what uni I wanted to go to because when you're doing your A-levels you're told there and then you have got to do your personal statement, your UCAS, anyone who's done this knows that it's really hard, really confusing, really long. So um, my grandpa who passed away I think when I was about 10 or 11, I can't really remember exactly, and he used to work for the BBC. So I was always really interested in media and TV and I've always absolutely loved reading and writing and um, just that kind of air of media. I did photography ugh, photography for A-level as well. So I'm quite creative but I'm also quite academic. So I decided that I would go and look at media courses, sort of more practical media courses. Um, and I went to three unis. I went to Nottingham and Trent. I went to Winchester and I also went to Lincoln um, and I looked around and I really loved Winchester as a whole package but then I went to Lincoln shortly after, Lincoln University and um, I didn't like the area as much but I sort of thought oh well, that's not really the point of uni um, but the course itself was much more appealing, it had more facilities, big TV studios that sort of thing so I got very sucked in by Lincoln um, and what I hadn't really thought about the course probably was fine. What I hadn't really thought about was the fact that Lincoln was just over four hours drive away from my house. And I've always been quite bad with travelling and staying away from my house. Always, ever since I can remember. So I, ha I hadn't really thought about it. All I thought was, great, I'm going to go to uni, I'm going to get my own flat and I'm going to meet loads of people. It'd be really fun. Which it was, and it is for most people. Um, so anyway, I was kind of rushed into deciding what to do. Um... But I like the unis and everything, so I applied. And on results day, I got my results, so I went to Lincoln. Um, and I met some absolutely lovely people at Lincoln. A girl called Sophie was actually the first person I met. And she's actually on YouTube, and she tagged me in her last university video. So I thought I'd do my perspective of uni. She was absolutely lovely. And um, I went around and watched a film. I think I watched Harry Potter. Oh, I think I did. With um, a girl called Christine, who was in her flat with her. And the reason why I did that is because I, in the first flight I was in, the people in there were lovely, but they weren't my sort of people and they didn't sort of want to interact with me and everyone else was going out and partying and making friends and having a really great freshers week and I wasn't. So I put on Facebook, oh, I'm really feeling homesick, anyone else? And Sophie commented. So I went to Sophie's and um, she was really, really lovely and she was also on my course. Um, and then shortly after that, I was really unhappy in my flat, so I actually moved... Um, flats at the end of my first week there and I met um, my flatmates that I lived with for the following month and they were absolutely lovely, Yasmin's one of them, she's one of my subscribers so hi, uh, she was, we really connected and then the other girls, um, there was Katie and Verity and they were really lovely as well and then a girl called Sherilyn who was actually at my school from year 7 to 11, um, a girl called Claudia who was really fun and then two boys um, James and Scott and they're all really really super lovely and they're doing really well and they're going into their second year but um, 
I just didn't really cope with being far away and the week before I left I ended up getting tinnitus, I got a really bad ear infection and I got tinnitus which is ringing in your ears and it hasn't gone away, I mean it's got better but I still have it every day and it's been a really big struggle and kind of with starting uni and getting that and being far away from home I just couldn't cope so I ended up leaving, um, initially taking a break and then finally just decided I wasn't going to go back. So it's been a really, really difficult year for me, and um, it, it has, it's been, it's been hard, I'm not going to lie, it's been really, really hard. But um, because of it, I've kind of grown up quite a lot in this last year, I've worked a lot, I've did a college course in makeup, which is how I came to YouTube, because I love makeup. Um, and then after that, I did work experience as a journalist with a paper, and finally decided that's what I love, and that's what I'm going to try and do. So um, I went to the uni I'm now going to in September. Um, which is the University of the Arts in London, and I absolutely fell in love, it's incredible, it's just like a museum, it's amazing, and they uh, made me an offer on their journalism course, and that is where I'm going, in September. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make this video to sort of say to people that, even though a lot of people are fine and they go to uni straight after A-levels and they love it because they've known what they wanted to do, it's not the same for everyone, some people really struggle and find it really, really hard, like I did and it is hard to make friends and it is hard being away from home but I just kind of also want to say to people that's not the only way Lo like I think me and one other of my friends went to uni and even she had a problem this year and my other friends have done have worked or have done apprenticeships um, and they've probably got higher paying jobs than I'm going to have when I leave uni already so it's not the only it's not the absolute only way to do it it's not you can do it however you want, it's not a big deal, you know, uni is important for some people, it was really important for me, which is why I'm going again, um, but for some people it's not. So this year I went through clearing, which is what you do if you either didn't get a course you liked or you decided against the one you've been offered or whatever, you can then look online, ring them up and go through clearing. So it's kind of like a second chance basically, it's just a second chance to do whatever you want to do at uni. So yeah, so I am going there in September and I'm going to be commuting, so I'll be living at home for the first, I'm going to give it till December, and if I'm cool with it and it's fine, then I'll just keep commuting because, let's face it, I'll be living at home rent free with my lovely family and my boyfriend's around the corner and my friends around the corner. But obviously if, um, if it's too much to commute all the time, then I'll probably look into going to live in uni accommodation or a flat or something, I'll, I'll work something out. Um... Yeah, so clearing was fine, and I got in, so I'm going to start in September. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to make this a long video, I just wanted to share my experience with uni. And don't get me wrong, I'm hoping that this time around I'm going to join some clubs and meet people, and it should be it should be good. But it's just to let people know, because it, I was in such a state when I left. It's not the end of the world. There's always a second chance. You can go to uni when you're 18, you can go when you're 30, it really doesn't matter. You've just got to do what's best for you, and if it, if it means that you don't find out what you want to do until you're 25, and then you think, right, I love this, I'm going to go to uni, fine. But I personally haven't found what I wanted to do at the end of A-levels, and I kind of didn't want... I know I don't have a lot of viewers or subscribers, but I feel like if I can at least help one of them, if they are going to uni, just to know that don't rush into it, don't think that because everyone at school's going and that your teachers are going on about it, that you have to go because you don't have to go you can wait as long as you want and always another thing that I always say to myself is do whatever makes you happy not what makes your mum happy not what makes your grandma happy your friends what makes you happy is what you need to do because you're going to go to uni you're going to get the grade it's going to be your life so I'm going to leave it at that because I think I've probably rambled and said the same thing 600 times but if anyone's got any questions about uni if you want any videos about, more positive ones, about what to bring to uni, because obviously I did move far away, and I had a lot of stuff, probably way too much, but if um, you want me to, I can definitely do a video on what to bring, what not to bring, what to expect, how to make friends, anything, any questions you have, because obviously in September I'll be going through the same thing again, because I'm going to a new uni in the middle of London, I'm going to have to commute, I'm going to have to meet people, I'm going to have to work out money, you know. Um, I'm also planning on joining the cheerleading squad, so you may see a few videos on YouTube of me looking like an idiot with the cheerleading squad. But, um, you know. Anyway, so if you've got any questions, comment, um, 
send me a message, anything. I'd love to hear from you. I definitely want to help as many people as I can with it because it's a it's something really close to me. It's something I feel really strongly um, about. So yes. So thank you very much for watching again. Um, like I said, my haul um, slash monthly favourites should be up by now by the time you watch this, but it might not. This dress is in it. Just let you know. Um, yes. So yeah, I'm rambling on again. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.